morning welcome to vlog number 25 so it is a tuesday today and something really interesting is gonna happen i'm finally graduating so i studied three years of viscom before this i think most of you know that by now and now i'm doing a diploma at nift so i'm finally graduating from my previous course which happened like a year and a half ago but anyways they're doing it so i'm happy so the time right now is 6 15 ravina is here for a sleepover she's taking her shower so i got ready first and i'm already done with my shower and my skincare routine so now i have to decide what to wear because like a very clever person i didn't before and whatever options i have are like not so suitable for the dress code because my previous college was like really strict about their dress code so yeah i'm gonna go raid my mom's cupboard and try and find something i also have a sari as an option which i'm gonna carry with me because i have no idea what others are wearing so i'll probably ask them but yeah i'll be getting ready at college and going straight so i'm carrying like both my um, sari and whatever i find in my mom's cupboard with me i'll carry two options and then probably decide what i'm gonna wear so yes it's time to go and find some from mom's cupboard so i have both my options here packed and ready to go i will show it to you guys soon but this is the salwa this is the dupatta and this is a sari i hope you guys can like at least get an idea of what i'm carrying okay guys the time right now is 7 40 we are about to leave for college so i just realized i forgot to tell you guys my plan for today so first i'm gonna go to college then i have to reach my graduation place till like uh 2 2 30 so i leave my college by like 1 1 30 so yeah i have a presentation to make at one o'clock like one o'clock's class so i'm gonna make that presentation and leave because it's like my main midterm submission so yeah that is the scene then i'm gonna go get graduated and then i'm gonna come back home and do some stitching so I have zero idea what time I'm gonna come back from the graduation so I hope I'm done early so that I don't have to like uh, stay up till late to work because I do have a submission tomorrow which at least like 50% of it I have to finish at home today so yes we will come back and stitch and then we will sleep a good night's rest I also have to upload today's vlog I still haven't started editing it so I'm carrying my laptop to college and if I find time I'll do it but I also have a presentation to make as I mentioned before and I have to give some finishing touches to that. so we just have a lot to do with very little time so i'm going to stop talking now and leave because you're going to get late and ravina is going to kill me so yes it's time to leave for college so guys we are outside ravina's hostel and she needs to like take her medicines and leave her stuff and everything that she doesn't need in class because she stayed over yesterday she had a lot of things so yes i'm gonna do my makeup so as i mentioned to you guys i've not been like wearing any base makeup to college i'm just wearing like eyes and lips so it'll take me like two to three minutes but yeah before she comes i will do that done and Ravina just came so it was perfect timing made it to college but we are literally sleep walking we slept at like 1 30 1 45 last night we were working so yeah super sleepy so guys my first class just got over the time right now is 11 20 and I don't have my next class until 1 o'clock so before that I have to finish my presentation I mentioned about that in the morning so I'm doing that right now and all of us are doing that too so yes now I'm just going to do that then eat my lunch and before lunch I have to get ready and I still haven't decided if I'm wearing that sari or the silver suit so yeah I'll make up my mind and tell you guys so I decided to wear the sari I finished my presentation and now I'm fixing the blouse so it's not my blouse it's Bhabi's it's really tight for me so I'm opening up the seams and then I'm going to wear the sari yes I'm going to wear a sari in college and sit through class through my presentation in a sari hmm let's see how that goes for now I'm gonna continue doing this then eat my lunch because I'm super hungry and then I'll wear my sari and show you guys what I look like so this is the sari that I'm wearing it's a beautiful floral print sari and I put on this heavy neck piece a bracelet and just like tiny studs in my ear which you guys can't see yeah you can see that now so now I'm gonna go do my makeup because my face is so dead like my skin is just looking terrible and I want to jazz up my eyes so yes I'm gonna do my makeup now
Oh my god guys, look at how talented these people are. They have made like an India map with fabric stuck on every state. So it's like fabrics of India and it looks so freaking cool. Wow, it looks so pretty. So guys, I've left for my graduation but my car doesn't have any fuel. I saw it in the morning but like right when I was about to reach to college and I was already so late and I didn't find any petrol bunk near college. There's no petrol bunk near college. So I'm right now rushing to one without AC because I really don't have any fuel. Like if I switch on the AC, I think my car will just break down because there's literally no fuel. So yes, I'm gonna quickly find a petrol bunk because I'm sweating like shit. My makeup is like totally falling apart my foundation has started to split so it's just like a bad thing because i even don't have tissue so i'm just so worried what i'm going to do but yeah first get into a petrol bunk then thinking about this face finally found one so my graduation is at music academy and this is before the bridge under which music academy is there and there's so much traffic i really really wish i find parking because if i don't i'm literally gonna have the worst day ever Look who's graduating us. Treasure your books and the classroom and the teaching and your own preparation is what will make you stand out. So be like the glower who glows every day. So guys, I finally got my degree and I'm officially a graduate now. So the time right now is like 7.20 and I got out earlier than the others did because I snuck out and everyone's like still stuck inside. But yes, I'm really happy that I got my degree and it's over now. Graduation's done. Yay. So the time is 7.15 as I mentioned and I'll take like... 45 minutes one hour to get home because there's going to be crazy traffic but we have to get through this because i really cannot wait to get home and remove this makeup change and wear comfortable pajamas because i'm just like so tired right now because i woke up like pretty early today and i slept really late last night so yeah i'm like really sleep deprived and i was supposed to go home and stitch a pair of shorts for my submission tomorrow i don't know how much of it i'm gonna get done but yeah let's see right now the aim is just to get home without falling asleep while driving and yes then i'll talk to you guys more about what I'm feeling right now because there's just like so much I want to tell you guys so yes hold on for just a few seconds and I'll come back so guys the time right now is 8 38 40 and I got home like sometime back I changed and everything and I'm just feeling so good so that is something that I wanted to share with you guys so when I was leaving college for my graduation I honestly did not want to go like I was just like do I really want to go or not I was so hesitant because in my old college I have some bad memories associated when I was there I initially didn't want to be there because that's not the course that I wanted to do I had friends who I lost I lost two family members and in those three years i was so messed up i didn't have a clear vision of my life i hated everything that i was doing although i really enjoyed photography and designing and filmmaking overall i just didn't like the space that i was in and it just made me really sad and i didn't know where my life was going because i felt so lonely i went through a really bad phase of depression and i hated it and i just thought that my life was over i thought nothing would be better and nothing can get better but after i joined nift my life completely changed and one main reason is because i was in an environment and in a place where i really belonged i was accepted my words had value i was given importance and overall i was free to do whatever the hell that i want and nobody was there to judge me and it felt so so good like i finally feel like oh my god this is what i've been wanting all i wanted to was to be accepted and you know i started being accepted when i stopped looking for acceptance honestly because there all i wanted to do was please people to be a certain way so people like me but here i was just my raw true self and people like me i have friends i have people who appreciate me and it's not just about having friends or people appreciating you like you don't need somebody's validation to be a certain way but at that point i felt like i did need it and it's just so weird and ironic that now that i have it i don't want it anymore and it doesn't feel as important to me and it just made me realize one thing that whatever you think you want in life it's all in your head you think you want it you don't really know whether you want it or not because it's 
the society telling you that oh you need this you need that you need to be this way you need to have friends you have to do things a certain way but it's all in your head and once you set it clear for yourself that okay i don't need this i need this and when you start working for that particular thing nothing else is going to matter everything else is just going to be blurred to you only thing that's going to be clear is that vision that you set for yourself and once you get there it's going to feel the best Honestly I feel on the top of the world right now I don't want to go back there because that wasn't the place for me and while I was sitting through my graduation I was feeling so suffocated like <clears throat> the whole time I was just so depressed and I'm like dude I don't want to be here I don't want to be here I want to go back to my people to my place where I belong and I know I'm thinking it sounds really dramatic and <laughs> a little too emotional I am at this point because I just went through a lot during that phase. I'm just so happy to be over it. And if you're somebody who's stuck in a bad job or you are around people you don't like or there's something in your life which is like a major part of your life and you don't like it, you're the only one who can change it. And trust me guys, once you're there, you're going to feel amazing. I just wanted to share this with you guys because whenever I have emotional days while I'm vlogging, I just shy away i don't like talk about it on camera but feeling lonely feeling depressed feeling stuck is real it's something that a lot of us face and especially recently i've gotten so many messages from you guys talking about it so i really thought that i should share my experience with you guys so yeah i'm not gonna cry anymore enough of that it's all a phase of life and work on it figure out what is that that you really need and do that and it will feel amazing so the time right now is 10 45 10 50 actually and i'm like super sleepy because i haven't slept so i was supposed to upload a vlog today i was supposed to stitch my shorts but i'm not doing either of the two because my head hurts so much i probably didn't mention this before in the vlog but i've had a migraine since morning and it just got really worse at my graduation and when i was driving back i was having the worst headache ever so now if i sit in front of the computer it's gonna make it worse so yeah I'm not going to be uploading the vlog today but tomorrow first thing in the morning it's going to be up and I'm going to upload tomorrow's video so yeah you'll be seeing both the videos and my shots I'll figure a way out I'll convince myself probably stay back in college finish it I don't know what I'm going to do but I'm going to figure it out because I've realized one thing that health comes first and I need to give my health some importance so yes with all of that, I really hope you guys liked today's vlog. It was not like my usual vlogs. It had a lot of deep personal stuff which was in the previous clipping. But yeah, I really hope you guys liked it. And if you did, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. The link is down below. You can also follow me on all of my social media handles. All the links are given in the bottom bar. And I'll see you soon in my next vlog. Thank you so much for watching guys. Bye.